The sixth petition of the Lord's Prayer, we pray, and lead us not into temptation. A few years ago, 2017, the Roman Catholic Pope announced to the world that he thought this was a misleading prayer in English and that we should change it. He suggested that English congregations pray, do not let us fall into temptation. The challenge is, that's the next petition, right? That the Lord would deliver us from evil. That's not the idea that Jesus is communicating in this text. And so a helpful way maybe to think of it, the way I like to think of it is like a game of tug of war. If you remember those games, Used to love playing that as a kid. Anyway, you've got little old me, little old you, right here in the center of this game of of tug-of-war. And on the other side, over here, pulling on the one end, is everything that causes us temptation. And as Lutherans, we talk about that in three ways. We have the sinful nature that causes temptation, the world around us, sometimes we just call that peer pressure, and then we have the devil. So, my own sinful nature, the devil, the world, over here on this side, pulling, pulling this way. Who's on the other side? Who's fighting back against these sources of temptation for you and for me? It's Jesus who's over here fighting on our behalf. And so in this petition, the way I like to see this, we're praying that Jesus would not leave over here. He would not leave this side to go over there. Because if the Lord turns against us, if the Lord becomes a source of our temptation, what chance do any of us have? He's the only thing supporting us. He's the only thing that's holding us up. If he leaves, we collapse. And that tug of war is a battle that is lost, and we go, unfortunately, directly into the depth of hell. But instead, it's a battle that we know the Lord has won already. He fights for us. He protects us. He preserves us. We're going to get into that with the seventh petition the next time. But for now, just remembering, Jesus does not tempt us. The Lord does not tempt anyone. He does test us sometimes. He pushes us in ways that shape and form our faith, encourage us, help strengthen us. But he is not that source of temptation. And we pray that he never would become that source of temptation, and we know he won't. So as most of this Lord's Prayer has been, we pray things we already know, in part helping us to trust that Christ is faithful always. Amen.